हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन करंट अफेयर्स इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स एस एन अकेडमी में प्रोवाइड यू द बेस्ट मटेरियल फॉर नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल न्यूज सो कीप वॉचिंग एंड स्टडी हार्ड फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी द फर्स्ट न्यूज इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज लॉन्च द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट सी प्लेन सर्विस between the statue of unity near kevadia in gujarat's narmada district and savarmati river front in ahmedabad he traveled in the Med- madan flight of the twin engine plane from pond 3 close to sardar sarovar dam and landed at savarmati river front where a water aerodrome has been set up the 19 seater sea plane will be managed by private airline spice jet The service will cover the 200 km distance between Sabarmati and Kevadia in just 45 minutes by flight which usually takes 4 hours. The flight will be able to accommodate 12 passengers and tickets will cost rupees 4800 per person. Next, the Union Minister of Science and Technology Harshvardhan has launched the SERB SERB power schemes which aim to encourage and support emerging as well as eminent women researchers to undertake research and development activities in frontier areas of science and engineering serb power stands for science and engineering research board promoting opportunities for women in exploratory research next In West Bengal, Kolkata will soon feature India's first tire park where artworks made from scrap and defective parts will be on display. The West Bengal Transport Corporation will launch this tire park. This tire park which will come up at the esplanade area which have a small cafe where people can sit, relax and enjoy the craftsmanship made from tires. Important keys chief minister of west bengal is mamta banerjee and governor is jagdeep dhankar next prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the arogya van in the narmada district of gujarat prime minister modi was accompanied by gujarat chief minister vijay rupani and governor acharya devrat arogya van is set up on 17 acres of land in kevadia for spreading awareness on yoga ayurveda and meditation in features around 380 species of plants and trees which reach medicine values important keys gujarat chief minister is vijay rupani and gujarat governor is acharya devrat next the indian air force iaf successfully test fired an air launched version of the brahmos supersonic cruise missile from a sukhoi fighter aircraft in the bay of bengal the aircraft took off from an air base in punjab and reached the bay of bengal after mid air refueling the missile successfully hit a sinking ship in the bay of bengal with deadly accuracy next noted malayalam writer paul jasaria has been selected for this year's ezuthachan puraskaram the kerala government's highest literary honor jasaria was chosen for his contribution to malayalam literature during the past 5 decades the board of control for cricket in india bcci has announced jio as the title sponsor of the 2020 edition of the women's t20 challenge the partnership will also have support of reliance foundation education and sports for all rfesa this is a historic partnership as for the first time a sponsor has signed with bcci exclusively for the women's matches important keys president of bcci is saurav gangli Headquarters of BCCI is in Mumbai, Maharashtra and founded on December 1928. Next. Indian boxers Amit Pangal, Sanjeev and Ashish Kumar have won gold medals at the recently concluded 
Alexis Valentine International Boxing Tournament held in Nantes, France. The tournament was the first international event that Indian boxers were a part of since the lockdown. Next, the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists is an United Nations recognized day observed annually on 2nd November. The day draws attention to the low global conviction rate for violent crimes against journalists and media workers, estimated at only once in every 10 cases. Important case, UNESCO headquarters, it is in Paris, France. UNESCO head is Audrey Azole and it's founded on 16th November 1945. Next. World Vegan Day is observed globally on 1st November every year. This day is celebrated to spread benefits of veganism for humans, non-human animals and the natural environment. Vegan Day is an opportunity to promote the benefits of an vegan diets and veganism in general. Next. Veteran politician and former Prime Minister of Turkey, Misard Yilmaz, has passed away. He has the chief of the now defunctional center-right motherland party or ANAP from 1991 to 2002. He served as prime minister of Turkey three times in the 1990s. His first two prime ministerial terms lasted for just one month in 1991 and then in 1996, while the third term was from June 1997 to January 1999. Next, in Madhya Pradesh, the Panna Tiger Reserve has been included in the Nash World Network of Biosphere Reserves list of the UNESCO. This is the 12th Biosphere Reserve from India to be included in the World Network of Biosphere Reserves and third from Madhya Pradesh after Panchmari and Amar Kantak. Currently, Panna Tiger Reserve is home to 54 tigers. Important case, Madhya Pradesh capital is Bhopal, Governor is Anandiban Patel and Chief Minister is Shivraj Singh Chauhan. Next, the Indian Railways has introduced a new initiative called Meri Saheli to provide safety and security to women passengers during their train journeys. The Meri Saheli initiative has been launched by the Railway Protection Force RPF of Indian Railways. A team of lady, lady officers and staffs have been formed under the new initiative which will visit all passengers coaches of the train including ladies coaches to identify women passengers. Important keys, Union Minister of Railway is Piyush Goel. Next. 3rd November 2020. First news is Super Typhoon Goni, claimed as the world's strongest typhoon of 2020, has hit the south of the Philippines' main island of Luzon. Goni is one of the strongest storms of to hit the Philippines since 2030's Haiyan, which killed more than 6,300 people. Important case. Philippines President is Rodrigo Dutriet trending. Philippines capital is Manila and currency is Philippine Peso. Next. India's first of its kind solar energy driven miniature train was inaugurated at the Valley Tourist Village, Kerala by Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. The train, which would be an attraction for children especially, was part of a strong of projects totally or rupees 60 crore taken up to elevate the facilities at the panoramic destination to international standards. Important keys Chief Minister of Kerala is Pinarayi Vision, Governor is Arif Muhammad Khan. Next. Tech giant IBM stated it has collaborated with Indian Oil Corporation Limited IOCL to transform the latest customer experiences using digital tools. Around 12,400 IOCL distributor covering about 130 million consumers can now use the Indian Oil One mobile app and portal developed by IBM services. The Indian Oil One mobile app 
and portal are part of Indian oil projects EPIC an integrated platform for customer relationship management and distribution management system. Important keys IBM CEO is Arvind Krishna, IBM headquarters in Armonk, New York, United States. IOCL chairperson is Srikant Madhav Vaidya, headquarters in New Delhi and founded on 30th June 1959. Next. ICICI Lombard in partnership with Freepay Card, an online prepaid card trading platform has launched Group Safeguard Insurance. This strategic partnership will make the bite-sized health insurance solutions designed specifically, specifically for Freepay Card members available at its multi-category partner retail outlets. Freepay Card members can add these health solutions on the go while shopping for other essential goods or services. Important keys, ICICI Lombard CEO is Bhargav Das Gupta and headquarter in Mumbai. Next, the Reserve Bank of India imposed monetary penalty on DCB Bank and Geo Payments Bank for various rules violation. The central bank has imposed a penalty of rupees 22 lakh on DCB Bank for non-compliance with certain provisions on marketing or distribution of mutual fund or insurance etc. The penalty has been imposed in exercise of powers vested in RBI under the provisions of section 47A 1C read with section 46 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. Important keys. Governor of RBI is Shakti Kanta Das, Deputy Governor of RBI is BP Kanon Go, MK Jain, MD Patra and Rajeshwar Rao. Headquarter is Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next. The Airport Authority of India, AAI, has handed over the Lucknow Airport to the Adani Group on lease for a period of 50 years. Apart from this, the Adani Group has taken over or will take over operation of five more airports. In February 2019, the central government had privatized six major airports of the country namely Lucknow, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Mangaluru, Tiruvantapuram and Guwahati. The right to turn all these six airports has been won by Adani Group for 50 years. Next. Indian Administrative Services IAS Officer Rajiv Jalota has been appointed as the Chairman of Mumbai Port Trust. The appointment committee of the Union Cabinet issued the order for the central deputation. The post of MBPT Chairman was vacant after former Chairman Sanjay Bhatia retired on July 31st and was appointed as Lokayukta of Maharashtra. Important keys Chief Minister of Maharashtra is Uddhav Thakre. Governor is Bhagwat Singh Koshwari. Next, the Electronic Sector Skill Council of India ESSCI announced the appointment of PVG Menon as its Chief Executive Officer. Menon will be responsible for overseeing the operations of ESSCI and work closely with its Governing Council on strategic issues related to the growth of the electronic system design and manufacturing industry in India. ESSCI works with industry, the National Skill Development Corporation and the Ministry of Electronics and IT to provide both skilling and reskilling services to the industry. Important keys, Electronic Sector Skill Council of India Headquarter, it is in New Delhi. Next, Lewis Hamilton has won the Emilia Romanga Grand Prix 2020 at Autodromo Internationalized Enzo E. Dino Ferrari Race Track, Italy. This was the ninth win of the season and 93rd F1 win of his career. Valtteri Bottas finished second while Daniel Ricciardo finished third. Mercedes won the seventh consecutive constructor title for 2020. Next. Australian all-rounder Shane Watson has announced his retirement from all forms of cricket. The 39-year-old will hanging up his boots after an illustration career during which he won two ICC, two ICC Men's Cricket World Cups and two ICC Championship Trophy titles.
He played 59 test 190 ODs and 58 T20s. Next, Tamal Bandhupadhyay has authored a book title Pandemonium: The Great Indian Banking Tragedy and will be released on November 9, 2020. This book published by Roli Books provides an understanding of the challenges and economic potential of India. Next, the Scottish actor best known for his portrayal of James Bond, Sean Connery, passed away. Scottish movie legend Con- Connery, who shot to international stardom as the suave and sophisticated British agent James Bond, and went on to grace the silver screen for four decades. Connery will be remembered first as British agent 007. Next. India's border area with Pakistan in Rajasthan would soon be illuminated with renewable energy. The state government will soon ink an memorandum of understanding with National Thermal Power Corporation (NTPC) and Solar Energy Corporation of India (SECI) to establish ultra mega renewable energy power park. The park to be set up near borders areas will be of 8000 megawatts capacity. which will comprise 4310 megawatt of wind wind energy 3760 megawatt of solar energy and 120 megawatt of power from biomass currently rajasthan solar generation capacity is 4883 megawatt thank you keep watching